Hey guys, it's Mel. It's welcome back, back to my channel. If you're new here, going to my channel. And today, I'm going to, be going, going to be going over some of my recent favorite books that I've read. Um, so a couple of these, like, are rereads. Like, you know, books I reread that I just, like, dislike and I love. The most recent books I love after reading them. Not just what most of these books are, but, like, a couple of my rereads. And the first two actually are rereads, so, you know. So without further ado, let's get started. So, again, I said two first year rereads of books I used to not like, but I've become to greatly enjoy, actually, of my second reading of them. And those two books are Eleanor Elephant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, and Aerosol and Dante's Go Seas the Universe by Benjamin. And there is saying that, like, you know, I have no idea if it's not his name. Um, so, these are both pretty popular books, especially Aerosol and Dante. Um, I used to, like, not like this book, because I felt like it was, I was, like, a little too, um, fast-paced. But, like, when I read it a second time, I feel the same thing. But, like, I, I get a, like, Wait, wait, wait a little while until I can reread it again. So I gave myself a little, my this book a little space. And after I reread it for a second time, well, it's like my third time reading in general, I I loved it. I could understand like, why people love this book so much. Like, I uh, it's not like one of my favorite books, but like I understand why it's so hyped up because like I finally got. Well, like chemistry between like Dante and Ari, it's and that crew related with Ari. I began to realize that too, and it also like talk like, a, lo- a lot about like Spanish culture, like Mexican American culture, um, and yeah, also like what's like to be like, how it's like to be a, a gay queer, like a queer person of color, like, was, like back in the eighties. So in case you don't know what it's about, it's about it's in like nineteen eighty seven, I believe, in El Paso, Texas, and as I said, no nineteen eighty six. Sorry, nineteen eighty six. Is it? Hang on, let me check. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm I'm looking. Okay, yeah, it's nineteen eighty seven. I had read it the first time. So nineteen eighty seven in El Paso, Texas, and it's about these, like, two boys named Ari and Dante who fall in each other and they find out they're gay and they fall in love. It sounds pretty, it's a very simple story, but, like, it's so beautiful and you honestly really feel for the character for the Ari and Dante. I love Dante. He's just a similar of human being. I really love Ari a lot. It's great. And, yeah, and as for El Eleanor life is pretty fine. This is essentially about like a um, like a graphic design or something, or like a marketing for woman or something. But she like had she's very introverted. She doesn't not go out on the weekends. Like um, by the time no exaggeration, from the time gets home on Friday, so it's a tie weekend, and um. Until she goes back to the office, office on Monday, she just not leave her house. That's how introverted she is. She's very self isolating. And she ends up running a crush on this local musician. And so she decides to go and like, completely like, change her appearance to try and like, get like, her attraction, like get like the musician attracted to her. And in the process, she ends up forcing a friendship with their lo- with their um IT guy and he like just like drags her and like forces her like not to be self isolating. And I also identify with Eleanor a lot more than when I first heard the book and I realized I wanted a second reading of it. And it was great. Next here next to here are both historical fiction. And they both by the same author. They are Salt to the Sea and Between the Shades of Grey, both by Reese Petties. I think about Salt every day since I've read this book. I have thought about it like 
every single day. And I mean every single day. So it's like, since it follows four main characters, one of which is a delusional, like, Nazi, like, a t- it's a teenager, but, like, he believes, like, he's, like, the best soldier out there, but he's, like, really, like, a scary cat, and he's, like, very delusional. And he's basically a psychopath, <laughs> really, it's not really for that. And the three others um, are trying to get to this ship, there's a Polish girl named Amelia. Um, a Lith- I can never pronounce it. Lithian, Lithium. I can't pronounce it. Um, but she's like her name's Joanna, and then a boy named Florian, and then the Nazi boy's name I is Alfred, and the other. Anyone besides Alfred, because, you know, he's a Nazi, he's, they're trying to get to, like, the ship that's going to take him to, just going to take him to freedom. And actually, uh, the ship is called the Wilhelm Gustloff. It was a real ship. And it was six times deadlier than Titanic. So, like, very, very deadly. And it's all about his journey there. And, like, it slowly explains, like, all the backstories. Now, like, the form of his friendship. It's a little romance in here. It's, like, perfect. I love this book. It's so beautifully written. And I love it. And the other book, The Queen Saves Your Cry, is actually inspired by the author's grandparents' own experience. Those are her parents. It's, it's inspired by her family's own experiences under the rule of Joseph Stalin. And so it's about this genocide of the Baltic people. So, like, once Joseph Stalin was, like, rounding them up and, like, sending them like, to, like, not concentration camps, but, like, collectives. That's what they were, collectives. Um, and, again, it's beautifully written. It's, this happens all, in both these books are very short. I also read Roots of Petty's on the Founds of Silence, and those are the chapters in there very short. And the book is also beautiful written. I just said as well. And these are like, well, and another thing about Roots of Petty is she never holds anything back. And in spite of the fact it's YA, like when people think of YA, they think like, oh, like, they're teenagers, they can't handle anything. But she does not hold back from anything. And I love that about her. So, these are undoubtedly two of my recent favorites. The next book is sort of historical fiction. Actually, both these books are half historical fiction, half contemporary. And they're both, by, again, by the same author. And that author is Taylor Nicholas Reed. The author is Taylor Hubbard and Seven Hugo, which I also love. But I read that book, like, last year. Um, but the next two are Daisy Jones and The Six. And Malibu Rising. Malibu Rising actually came out this year. And I mentioned it on the earlier video. And they on the six came out two years ago and it's very, very popular. Both of these books are very well known. And and I think Daisy Jones got a TV series, am I correct? So anyway, many you guys probably already know this about like Daisy Jones is six, so like this interview style wanna say. And explain like the the and the like the six days on the six this band back in like this, this fictional band back in the seventies like formed and uh, like why they quit like the the very height of the popularity and like what happened to them afterwards. It's so it's very simple again, but like it's so complex at the same time. I love like you fall in love with the characters and Tony is read. Is literally the queen of plot twists. I'm not joking. She writes, writes like the best plot twists ever. And it's so good. And so it's now the rising. I read it in, in like a book haul. When I was with my mom a couple weeks ago. And this is about. It's so from multiple perspectives again. And it's all about. Um, these four siblings, like, back in the, the early 80s, and they're the son, they're the children of this major rock star, like, or singer or something, who actually just appears in both Sarah Holmes and Hugo and Dizzy Jones and Six, 
So, like, Taylor is really, like, forming, like, her own celebrity universe, technically. And I love when authors do, like, they can, like, connect all the books in the same universe. It's so cool. And, like, the whole thing is, like, set up with 24 hours. And, like, it's all about how the lives change. Like, it leads up to a party, like, during the evening. It's all about how, in those 24 hours, life, like, change forever. It eats one of them. And it's so wonderful. And they also read After I Do But Ten Minutes Read, and that was really good. So, like, honestly, I have, like, three more Ten Minutes Read books, re- books to read. But, like, I want to read them all. Like, I have three, one true loves. Um, maybe another life and then forever interrupted. Those are three I have to read. But, like, the four I read, I loved. So, just go read Tilligan's Read. Like, any of the books. Like, they're so good. She's so good. <laughs> the next one is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I once again, I mentioned this in my haul a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry. Those are my dogs. Um, and this is a very cult book again. Um, the plot was very easy to like, see coming, but like, it's not, it's not really take anything away from the story. Like, the way it unfolds is like magnificent, like amazing. Like, the author is like, does like a great job, like, unraveling the story it's, to go deeper into it. It's not a fast paced story at all, it's rather slow paced. But it was like very short at the same time. So like you probably won't even notice that. But like it's really good. So this is about like a girl um named um what's her name? Candace. And she's a member of this family named the Sinclairs, and they're like you know, the ideal perfect family. They're rich, you know. Um and she's trying to recount what happened. The fit during the 15th, 15th summer, and what happened to the rest of the school because she's a member of called the Liars. And, and I'm not going to say about it because, like, it's best going to this book with knowing nothing because I wouldn't book like, knowing nothing. Um, But, yeah, it's really good. The next um, books I'm, I have right here are actually a series I'm rereading. I'm still the first. I started the first book, like, yesterday, I believe. And those are, are the To All the Words of a Four trilogy by Jenny Han. You probably already know what this is about, but like, if you don't, these like are like all like, these basically start with like a girl in Narjean, and she has written a letter to every single boy she ever loved, five in total. Um, but she never mails them, she, like, puts them in a hat box and that mother gave her. But one day, those letters are actually sent, and then the first books really are, was our Total Quest Level 4, and P.S. I Still Love You, just like her, like, you know, it's like the aftermath of that. And then Forever and Always, Laura Jean, is by her, like, her senior year in high school, and, like, has to go, like, and now, like, college, how, like, she's never going to go off to college, essentially. And... I got my I mean, the series and the first book, but like I never, I already, I already liked the series when I first read it, but like I absolutely adore it now because like the way, like I don't even know how to describe it, but like, um, like it's again like slower pace, but like you don't realize that because like you're like sucked into the story, and like you're like. One of the good best for the characters, for the large and their boyfriend. And you, like, want to know how it's like, all going to go down. Like, how the relationship is going to happen. It's wonderful. And it's really, like, it's also, like, just much about family. It's about romance. And it's fantastic. And the last book here I have is You Just See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This might just, like, I'm going to say this right now. The 12 Boys of the Forest trilogy might be my favorite series of all time. It probably is. But, like, they usually see me a crown. I'm not that it's indefinite. But, like, it might just be 
at the very least, one of my favorite books of all time. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm going to say just go and read this book. It is fantastic. I loved it. Just go and read it. And those are all the books I, I read recently and I loved. So thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe to this content. And I'll see you next, guys next time.